Sync the base ignition timing on a 2006 Subaru Impreza WRX STI. The reason for syncing your base ignition timing is to put a sync between the physical ignition timing and the digital ignition timing. And this basically just ensures that what your laptop or your or what your ECU reads as the ignition timing is what's really going on inside of the engine. So in order to do that, you need a few things. The big one is going to be two people. It's going to be a lot easier and just make a lot more sense. You're going to need a basic timing light. Nothing fancy. I got this one at Home Depot or sorry, not Home Depot, be uh, Cragen or AutoZone, wherever they sell just kind of a cheapy $50 timing light. You don't need anything fancy. You're going to need to go ahead and hook it up to your coil number one. You're going to need to hook up the power and the ground. Then you're going to need your other person to jump in the car and go ahead and give it a start. Now before he starts it, there's a few things you need to know. Sometimes it's going to be a little bit tough to keep your car started if this is the first time doing it. So that's why they're in there. They can go ahead and press the throttle to keep the engine running. Um, you know, they can just kind of do whatever it takes to keep the motor running. Uh, after you get the ignition timing synced and you get your tune done, you can go ahead and resync your ignition timing um, just to verify that it's still spot on with where it needs to be. So uh, go ahead and start the car. After you hit close, it goes ahead and it records it to the ECU, and uh, then you're good to go. So just a quick recap in case the exhaust was too loud on this car. You go to Wizards, Set Ignition Timing Sync Wizard. You're going to lock the ignition timing at whatever point exists within your, uh, your cam cover or your, uh, your timing belt cover. So for instance, on the Evo, we've got a TDC mark and we've got a, a 10 degree mark. So you can use whatever one you feel more comfortable using, um, but uh, if you choose 10, you need to mark 10 inside the locked ignition timing box. And then basically for large, 
All that means is it's going to advance the timing or retard the timing by about three degrees. The small ones are going to do it by about half a degree or a third of a degree in that range. So just use the one that's most applicable for your needs um, and that's it.